So when I'm sculpting, a lot of times I'm sculpting with water-based clay. Water-based clay requires different tools than oil-based clay. You use a lot of these wire tools, such as this, for both. And one thing that's important when you have these tools is to have serrated edges because it makes the scraping a whole lot better. But this tool is my favorite. And when you look at the side, I use this quite a bit. So when you rotate it, you'll see it's kind of curved up and then it's rounded off. And the way you work it is that when you're using water-based clay, you kind of use that to manipulate the clay. It works really well because this size is perfect for a medium-sized sculpture. And it's got the roundness that it can create the shape of muscles. Now there's other shapes for tools, but I found that that's probably the best one for making really detailed sort of sculptures. Now I have this one as well, and honestly, there's two, there are sections of tools that I just never use. For example, this round one, I barely have used that, but this flat part, I use a lot. But that's because in my sort of sculptures, I really like the flat geometry of sculpture, so I tend to keep this and use it much more. But the wooden tools are really, really nice to have. And they're very inexpensive. Make quite a few of these tools. So often you'll have double loop wire tools. You can get them at Sculpture House. And by the way, I love Sculpture House. And you know, you can tell the quality of my tool that I made. And the, this one, it's so much nicer. They use a hardwood. This is a hardwood, but it's not perfect. The shape of this, I think they use a lathe. I don't have access to a lathe. So the wires are uh, really good. And the tools are worth it from Sculpture House, but I bought so many tools and they all kind of fall apart. So one of the things you want to do is like learn to make your own. Another tool that I liked using, same sort of shape. You guys are starting to see this pattern of the same shape. And then I like the pointed bit because I like to draw using this. These hardwood tools are the most durable things you'll possibly have in your sculpture tools. They just last really forever. And it's kind of amazing that wood tools last forever. You just want to make sure that you pick a hardwood. And if you have even tools made out of a softwood, such as pine, you could just do what pencil makers do paint them, stain them, and seal them. And with this sort of thing, it's going to last a very long time. Now pencils, I don't know if you guys have ever pencil fought. They're very soft, so you can't put a lot of pressure on them. That's why hardwood is better. Another tool I really like, <clears throat> it's this one. It's got a flat edge, but it's got like little teeth. And you could make teeth on any tool that you have but I do like this sort of shape because it gives me a pattern to look at when I'm using it. Same sort of thing. It's just a little bit thinner, fits in your hand really well. It's a hardwood, so and it's very light as well. But you'll need, this is probably like one of the more usable ones. So this is basically a same version of my favorite tool. What I found is that you can do some amazing sculptures with very basic tools. Like one of my favorite tools starting out for portrait sculpture is just a paint scraper. A paint scraper that you scrape drywall. It, it really is one of the more usable sort of tools you can get. And a lot of people sometimes get shocked. Like I've had classes in sculpture and I just come out with like a paint scraper and people are very like confused because they assume like you need professional tools to do sculpture, but you don't. You really just need your hands. These tools, like you can buy a bunch of like dental tools and you can get them from AliExpress, Amazon, whatever. These last forever as well, they're metal. They're really good for wax sculpture and oil-based sculpture. And I use these quite often. I do, I find them to be a little lacking though. And I wish they made better metal tools because metal will last forever. These don't rust and break, they're stainless. So they're, 
these are really good to have. Uh, so buy a bunch from AliExpress. I think it's like $20 for an entire set. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.